So I was trying to stay out of all this recent Gabby Hanna drama, but I actually got a really, really good mental health question. So let's do this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, for those of you who are not familiar with me, I am not a drama channel, all right? So something that I'm always doing is I'm trying to find that that fine line between like, is this drama or do I have a mental health topic that I can pull into this situation? And I had a, a lot of requests, a lot of requests to talk about the Gabby Hanna situation with the makeup brushes. I think it's called Kenza Cosmetics. Um, I had quite a few people ask me if I think she's gaslighting. Um, but, but yeah, like in this video, this is not to be any shade at Gabby Hanna. Most of my videos that I make, I don't ever, ever, ever expect the YouTuber to see it. Uh, Gabby mentioned that she does watch my channel, so she might see this. So there will be some tough love, but I don't have any strong opinions on Gabby Hanna. But I know her audience is feeling certain types of ways with what's going on, so I wanna address it. Because if you're struggling with your mental health and relationships, you know, even your relationship with a YouTuber, even your relationship with me might be difficult for you, right? So this is something that we need to talk about. So to catch you up to speed on what's been going on with Gabby Hanna and Kenza Cosmetics, uh, Tana Mojo was involved in this. Basically, Gabby Hanna and Tana Mojo both promoted Kenza Cosmetics and it was supposed to be like, the brushes are free and all you do is pay for the shipping. So it's like $10. But what happened was a lot of people ordered the brushes and they didn't get them for like months, all right? And I watched a bunch of the drama channels talk about this and everything, so if, if you wanna go get like more of the tea on this, like go for it, right? But it was taking people months to get it. So people started calling out Tana, started calling out Gabby for scamming their, their uh, audience. And then Kenza put up something on their website saying, hey, due to holidays, it's taking a little bit longer. So people started receiving their brushes, right? And Gabby stayed pretty silent. I don't even think Tana's responded to it yet. But anyways, Gab Gabby did a get ready with me and she addressed it, all right? And this is what got some more backlash, all right? So I watched Gabby's video and I watched some videos using clips of Gab Gabby's video. And Gabby was basically saying, which I completely agree with, but I can see the other side of it. What Gabby was saying was, you know, these brushes, they're, you know, you pay $10 for 10 brushes, they're a dollar a brush. Like don't expect the quality to be top quality, right? And I'm like, yeah, I get that. Like for example, for example, like I manage my expectations. Like when I go to like Walmart, for example, okay? I do not expect excellent customer service, all right? It's freaking Walmart. When I go to like McDonald's, right? I don't expect amazing food and awesome customer service, okay? So like, I just wanna put that out there, but what people are talking about with Gabby Hanna is, one of the major issues was that these brushes were marketed as having an $80 or $90 value, and then they were being sold for $10, but other people did have to pay more for shipping. So people were a little bit upset that she didn't address that. So I have a really good question about black and white thinking and borderline personality disorder, which I'm going to address in the second half of this video. But first I wanna talk about gaslighting. So those of you who don't know what gaslighting is, it is, it's a form of emotional abuse uh, where, where one person tries to make you question your own sanity, right? Like, for example, when I made a video about Jake Paul where Jake Paul's like, I'm not taking advantage of kids, you guys are just haters, right? Like, that's making you question like, oh, am I just really a hater? So people are saying that Gabby Hanna is gaslighting people by saying they're upset about the quality of the brushes, but people are really upset about how long it took or how they were marketed at a higher value. So is Gabby gaslighting people? I don't know. I honestly, I, I don't know. But, you know, it, I guess it's possible I'm not inside Gabby Hanna's brain. And any of you who watch my channel, I hope... I hope you know, like, I, I never try to accuse or anything like that without, like, really blatant evidence. Like, it's like, okay, this person is doing this, right? Now, I will say this. Gabby maybe should have done some more research, 
maybe, you know, try to rectify the situation a little bit more. I don't know, maybe, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that with the black, black and white thinking, all right? But I can understand, like I'm empathetic to both sides in this situation. I can't understand why some people do feel they were manipulated or gaslighted, right? So this next question, which made me decide to make this video, actually came from, from our Facebook group. So those of you who don't know, we have a, a mental health support group on Facebook as well as on Discord. It is always linked down in the description. A ton of you send me DMs, emails, all sorts of stuff, tweets, and like the best thing you can do is get involved with the support group, all right? I don't have all the answers. I do not have all the answers. The best thing you can do is get involved with these support groups. So this post I'm about to read you, um, our support groups, we have rules and guidelines in there. They are meant to be 1000% confidential, but in situations like this, I asked the person who posted this, and I said, are you okay if I address this in a video? And she said yes, so that's why I'm doing it. So just so you know, if you join the groups, I'm not like taking things and making videos about it unless I get your permission, all right? So anyways, this post said, hey guys, I wanna talk about something here that's been bothering me. Mostly this is just for Chris. I'd like to ask that everyone please be calm and respectful in the comments. So about the Gabby Hanna, Hanna scam thing, I am someone who struggles with borderline personality disorder, so black and white thinking is a huge problem for me. I love Gabby and she has done so much for me this year with helping me understand my own mental health and inspiring me to make music of, uh, of my own as I go through my journey. I see a lot of myself in her and seeing her succeed and the amazing message she spreads has inspired me. She genuinely is one of my favorite people on the internet right now, but I'm having a hard time because of the way she addressed the issue with Kenza Cosmetics. Um, less, uh, was less than graceful. And the whole situation was just so bad to begin with. I'm disappointed in her and my BPD is so confused because I love her to pieces, but she did something really dumb. I guess what I'm, saying is I'd appreciate if Chris could give me and others some guidance in a video or post addressing the issue and how to acknowledge slash hold someone accountable for their wrongdoings while still being able to love them. Thanks guys, and like I said, please be nice. I'm not asking for people to send hate Gabby's way or to argue about the, her character. Like with all of Chris's videos, this is, uh, this is about a larger issue. Thank you all and God bless. So yeah, this, this made me wanna make this video. So those of you who are not familiar with borderline personality disorder or what black and white thinking is, black and white thinking is something a lot, a lot of people struggle with, even if they don't have borderline personality disorder. You see it all the time, how people just switch from one side to the other. So basically black, black and white thinking is, there's no gray area. Somebody is either all good or all bad. So if you've ever been in a relationship or you know somebody with borderline personality disorder, they might love you one day and hate you the next day, right? It's hard for them to, look at this and say, okay, maybe you just did one bad thing, but the whole of you is not bad. So that is what she's asking in this post. She loves Gabby, Gabby's helped her a lot with her mental health, but Gabby did this thing that upset her. So for somebody like her with borderline personality disorder, not Gabby, but the person who posted this, they're struggling with, their brain is trying to categorize Gabby in the negative side of black and white thinking. It's trying to say she's a bad person, you can't trust her, because people with borderline personality disorder one of their symptoms is a fear of abandonment, right? So there comes a lot of trust issues and all of that. So this is why sometimes people with borderline personality disorder, they wait for you to screw up and then they push you away, okay? Um, because sometimes they self-sabotage. Now, although I have never been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, black and white thinking is something that I've struggled with. So I just wanna kinda talk about what I do and the methods that I, I use, because this is something that I can definitely relate to with YouTubers. I can definitely relate to this with YouTubers. There are YouTubers who I absolutely love and they might do one tweet or they might say one thing in a video, right? And and I'm just like, oh, I'm done with them. I'm done, unsubscribe, done, bye, right? And that's crazy, that's crazy. Like, So one of my tips for dealing with black and white thinking is empathy, right? So ask yourself, ask yourself, how would I feel? How would I feel if somebody just completely, completely shut me off because of this one thing that I did, right? Like, I have to ask myself that. Like, it would it be fair to me, okay? Or would I want somebody to give me another chance? 
You know what I mean? So like the post said, like we definitely have to pe keep people accountable. And I think, I think Gabby is seeing the backlash and hopefully learning from it. But also if Gabby does see this video or if any other YouTube creators see this video, I hope you understand that some people in your audience are struggling with things like black and white thinking. And when we make videos to address certain topics, we really have to think about that. We have to think about how our, our audience who might have mental health issues is struggling with these things, right? Because we see it in the opposite direction too. So one thing that black and white thinking can do too is make you like irrationally loyal to somebody, right? We saw it with like Logan Paul. When Logan Paul did his idiocy in Japan, you saw people just sticking up for him no matter what. So black and white thinking can do that for you too. You can be just like, just irrationally loyal, okay? So it's about finding balance. The other thing that I recommend, and this is something that um, I do in a writing exercise, or I actually, you know, a lot of times I do it in my head now, but you can take out a pen and paper. You write down what is true and what is false, right? What are, what are the true things that your brain's telling you? What are the lies that your brain's telling you? So in this Gabby Hanna situation, right? Like, what is true about Gabby Hanna? So based on this post, and this is just kind of like a rough way that you would write this down. Gabby Hanna has inspired me. Gabby Hanna has been a great advocate for mental health. Gabby uh, Hanna has helped me, you know, overcome some of my fears. Now the lies that my brain might tell me is, Gabby Hanna is an awful person. She's always been an awful person. She hates everybody, you know what I mean? Just all the crazy things our brain tells us. Because when you sit down and you actually write these things on paper and you can look at them, you can say, okay, Maybe these things in this column aren't necessarily true. For example, when I was struggling with black and white thinking with my mom, my brain would tell me my mom doesn't love me. My mom doesn't care about me. But I had to write down like, my mom has always been there for me. My mom came to the hospital. My mom saved my life. My mom helped me get sober. So on this side of the column, when my brain is telling me my mom doesn't love me, like I have evidence to prove the opposite of that, all right? So something with borderline personality disorder or black and white thinking in general is, trying to rely on the evidence rather than your emotions, all right? And that will greatly, greatly help you. So is Gabby a good person? Is she a terrible person? I don't know, man. Like I've recently been following Gabby. She seems all right. She seems like she's got her own issues, like a bunch of other people. She talks about them, she addresses them. I've been reading some of your comments and I don't know where they're coming from. You know, a lot of people do feel manipulated or gaslit by Gabby. I don't know, man. I've been following her for a few weeks now. But if this is something that you struggle with, even if you're not a Gabby Hanna fan, if you're struggling with this with other YouTubers, try to take some of these suggestions, okay? Even when you're on Twitter and you see this news come out of somebody doing this or somebody doing that, like check in with your own black and white thinking and saying like, why am I putting this person in an all good or all bad category? Like. Something that is an insane expectation of all of us is thinking that other people have the potential of being perfect and never making a mistake. The same thing is with ourselves. Some of us are way too hard on ourselves because we hold ourselves to an insane expectation that we're never gonna make a mistake, right? We can have that black and white thinking of ourselves too. We look at ourselves as all good or all bad. Like, I'm a great person who has done some pretty terrible things. You know what I mean? So I try to empathize with other people and that's why I'm a very forgiving person. That's why I don't think anybody's a hopeless cause because I, have done terrible things in my past and I've worked really hard to get where I am today. All right, but anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Do you struggle with black and white thinking? Um, even if it's not with the Gabby Hanna situation, like I would love to hear a story about how maybe a YouTuber did something and you just like completely switched your views of them, all right? Like anything like that. Like let me know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And we have a Patreon Q&A coming up. A lot of you send me requests. I don't always get to them, but if you want to for sure have me answer your questions, sign up for Patreon right there for as little as a dollar a month, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.